second commandment. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. This means that we should fear and love God so that we do not curse, swear, use satanic arts, lie, or deceive by his name, but call upon it in every trouble. Pray, praise, and give thanks. And if you'll notice, he doesn't say, thou shalt not use the name of the Lord your God, which is usually how we end up treating this thing, like definitely don't say, oh my God, definitely don't even type, OMG, don't say bad words when you stub your toe. He doesn't say, don't use his name. He actually insists that we use it, so much that he teaches it to us. He just doesn't want us to misuse it. There are only rules about things that are powerful. Not a lot of laws concerning feathers. A lot of laws concerning cars. See, if I misuse a feather, uh, I don't know, something weird happens. You misuse a car, though, people can get hurt. God's name is so powerful that he actually wants you to have it. He just doesn't want you to get hurt by it. And so when he gives us his holy name, uh, he actually insists that he be spoken of the right way. He actually insists that we would call upon him in every trouble, pray, praise, and give thanks. So what we start to see then as we really look at this, that we are supposed to be using God's name. We're just not supposed to be um, attaching it to things that are not true, that, that, there's, that somebody would be hurt. One of the chief ways that we break the second commandment is through false doctrine, a false teaching about who God is. We say things about God that are not true, and then, uh, God forbid, people believe them. Like, what if God only helped those who helped themselves? Or what if God only loved you if you were a good person? Or what if God actually did hate the people that, that I hate? There, all of a sudden, we start to come up with a real problem that if God would damn the things that I want damned, that's, that's a scary thought because what if other people want, want me? condemned? What if my own sins would condemn me? What if God actually only were to judge me by his law and not by his gospel? Here I need a proper use of God's name. I need help from God. And so I pray to him, Lord Jesus, have mercy on me, a sinner. And the glorious part is he teaches me his name. He teaches me about who he is so that I can turn to him for mercy. I look to God and his holy name because here he reveals himself to me that I would actually know truths about him. He insists that his name not be abused, not be spoken about falsely, not be attached to things that cannot help or save so that people would not trust the things that cannot help or save. But rather, he says, use my name, use it for good. What if you got a car and never wanted to drive it so you never got in a car accident? I mean, I guess you wouldn't get in a car accident, but you also wouldn't get to go anywhere. What if God gave you his name, not so that you would use it less, but so that you would use it more? He just calls us to use it rightly so that we attach it to that which is true, so that we would actually find comfort and hope in it, so that we would actually look to Christ in him crucified and raised, as opposed to all of the other things that we would make our idols, like the first commandment. See, it's building. It's building. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.